Rooster up. I hope everybody had a wonderful 4th of July. I know we did. We was down at the river. We got set up directly across from where they uh, lit the fireworks off. They were literally right above our heads. I mean, it was a very nice weekend. Um, got to ride the motorcycle quite a bit. Hang out with a group of people that I'm involved with. And, um, well, we had just a really good time. But this video is not going to be for the soft-hearted, panty-wearing, panty-waist pieces of shits. This video is going to be down to earth, straight up, in your face. Because something happened over the 4th of July that's really got me rubbed sideways. A snitch snitched. And I don't give a flying fuck if a snitch sees this video or not. Because a snitch is a snitch. My definition of a snitch is someone that sees something and has to immediately run and grab somebody in an authoritative uh, spot and tell and whine and cry and carry on. That's a fucking snitch. This person was supposed to be uh, at one time part of the group that I hung around, but he put an X in front of his title. So you put an X in front of that title, that gives me one or three things to think about. Number one, you done turned your back and walked away from a group that you're supposed to lock, love, be around, hang around. Number two, there's something medically wrong with you, and you can no longer do what you're supposed to be doing uh, in the group. Which, okay, we can consider that. We can let that slide a little bit. Number three, you done it with snitch. Well... I didn't get in no trouble. Uh, it was explained to me what I did wrong. I stopped doing it. I moved on. Not no big deal. But it's just funny how you think you're so big and bad. I'm not no snitch. But the first fucking time you see something going on, seeing something wrong, what's the first fucking thing you do? You run and you fucking tell somebody. You snitch, bitch. Snitches get what? Maybe. Don't think you so fucking big and so fucking tough. Cause I might not be the biggest motherfucker walking around. I may not be the toughest motherfucker walking around. I can still give you them stitches. I can still give you them stitches. Don't think just because you weigh taller than me and you might outweigh me by a little bit, I can't fucking get you in the hospital stitching you up. You might want to think again. Ask around. But I just, I've had enough of these bitches walking around snitching and, and, you know, then they jump up on their high horse and, I'm no snitch. Yeah, the fuck you are. Think about it. Someone that has to run and tell the first opportunity on something that they see because, well, it just ain't right. That's a snitch, bitch. Get over yourself. But other than that, like I said, we had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. We had shish kebabs. Uh, they grilled chicken and ribs on the grill. We swam in the river a little bit. We drank a lot of beer. Uh, seen the fireworks go boom, boom. Then we got to ride to uh, Fort Walton. Had a wonderful time down at Fort Walton. Uh, you know, got to ride Pensacola. We rode the motor scooters over Pensacola. Had a wonderful time. So... All together, it, it was a great weekend just uh, riding motorcycles, being with friends and uh, family and what have you, and you know, eating a lot of food and just enjoying ourselves. But you know, other than that one little snitch bitch that deserves stitches, no, I did not too many complaints going on. Everybody had a great time, so. So, you know, it was just a good time. I had about pretty much all. And I'm going to tell you straight up. I'm going to stop putting up with shit. You come at me, you're probably going to get hurt. Especially if you touch my equipment or if you touch me or my wife. I'm tired of the shit. It just ain't going to happen. It just ain't going to happen. In Florida, we have that stand-your-ground law. The stand-your-ground law is very clear. 
as long as I'm in my domicile, which could mean my vehicle, my house, it could mean I'm in your house. If somebody was to break in, I have full legal right to put them down like the dog they are. Um, and like I said, it doesn't matter if it's your vehicle, as long as I don't leave the confinement of the vehicle, and you try to get in, or you, you know, you fucking up my vehicle, I put you down like a dog. I could drop you on the spot. And our sheriff done said, go ahead and take care of your business. We'll come out, fill out a little paperwork, and send you on your way. And that's the kind of sheriff we got in our town. Uh, I, I enjoy that pretty much. You know, I enjoy that a lot. So be careful with who you walk up on and what you want and what you're doing because it could get you in a very bad situation bad situation so but that's the end of my rant today I hope everybody still has got all their digits dip blowing their fingers off uh, right about one idiot putting a firework on his head killing himself but other than that I ain't heard about too many tragedies on the 4th of July so that was a good thing um Again, I'd like to welcome and thank all the new subscribers to everybody else that sticks around. I appreciate it too. Um, and it just, this is just one of those videos I'm, I'm kind of sideways on. So, y'all register up, have fun, just get down to it.